Frog. Finished. So how did you get spotted? Because you're doing all of this stuff. Catholic yeah. family, not allowed to do shit. Mm -hmm. In your mind, you want to do stuff though, I presume. No, I or have didn't. you just kind of just gone, like, is, is this just, have you accepted this as normal life? Like, yeah. I just don't do these things. Just don't do those things. Okay. Like, I couldn't miss what I never had. So other people doing it, I was right. like, why do they like that? What's that yeah. about? But okay. didn't No smoking, it. drinking, never. F not until I was like a little, older. A, a little old. try on the shed. Then I went, the shed. Like, woo. Okay, cool. right. <laughs> I wasn't with the cool kids. Right. Yeah. All right, cool. So how did you get spotted at MTV? Uh, so I was working in model management as the kind of ugly Betty, you know, like the geek that's like, I'll do all your filing. Doing oh, so you that. had a part-time job in the agency? I started to work at 14. I worked um, three jobs at Oh, the your time. parents are good. I'm yeah. good at that though, isn't it? Get yeah. out of the fucking house and add your money. Add some things. <laughs> yeah, go on. Yeah, so this is when I was 18. So I've been working for years. I'm right. still studying and working in the office. MTV came in and they were like, okay, we need to book some models. Um, for a shoot and they were like we want you and I'm at the desk and I'm like how long <laughs> you know, like, imagine like Wallace and Gromit you know like his little face He's right like, <laughs> Kaya, okay they just said that we want you straight yeah and I was like oh no 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 I just work here I'm not a model I didn't wear makeup had no fashion sense I mean it's questionable now if I'm what? right no I'm joking <laughs> yeah, yeah and um they were like yeah just come into our studios it was in Camden right I had never been to London it was outside Ever. of my little village, never. You just stayed in your village all this time? Stayed in the village, right. didn't leave my house. How far is the village from London, by the way? Uh, an hour and a half. Drive? Uh, yeah, to okay. the like, central. Okay, okay. So, an hour by train. Right. And then, um, yeah, I ended up on this photo shoot. They put makeup on me. They put high heels on me. First time ever. You, oh, first my mum didn't even wear makeup. She, like, she was not a girly girl. So I was like, what is this? And then I went to the toilet, like, after they'd been, like, pulling my hair and sticking brushes in my eyes. I went to the toilet, opened the door. There was a mirror there and I was like, oh shit, sorry. Like got out the way and I was like, ooh, this person's moving. Like the same, oh, and it, and this like how you movie, isn't it? <laughs> I swear to you, right, go on. And then I was like, what the fuck is this? And eureka then, moment. Yeah. Was eureka. it literally like a eureka yeah, moment? Yeah, I was right. like, this is me, but it doesn't look like me, it. Um, and then they put me on camera. And they're like, just be you. And I was like, okay. And you was like, 12. Ain't got a clue. You was yeah. like, 12 times 12 is 144. <laughs> Literally, Carol Vorderman, isn't it? Just <laughs> you. Right, go on. And then afterwards, they're like, oh, you're a natural. I was like, natural at what? Like, you haven't done anything. Yeah. Um, and they were just like, yeah. And then I got signed to page three after that. As soon as it hit Whoa, TV, it was like, wow. <laughs> so that goes on TV. Yeah. It's like a show, is it a show? On MTV, yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah, but what's the show about what? It's called The Dirty... Have you got that footage still? Oh, fucking hell, years ago when I was 18, what's that? Go on. I didn't even have like a video recorded then okay, or whatever. Okay, so, yeah, right. <laughs> so you go on this documentary um, and it's about what, sorry? It was called The Dirty Dozen. So they were talking about like everything about life and relationships and attraction and stuff. And I was the model on the cut between. Okay, so, like, so like during the voiceover, they'll cut yeah, away yeah. from you. Yeah, okay, they'll just cool. show like a, a girl being like, hey, okay. or something. And that was me. I just... Uh, how much did you get paid for going on that? I think it was about 500 so like years ago. Is that like more money than you had seen at the time? I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I lived in the village. So. Right. so what did you do with it? You buy more onions? I bought loads of onions. <laughs> no, 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 what did you do with it? Uh, I think I brought a handbag. Uh, yeah. My first ever handbag. I was like, that's random, isn't it? What Didn't did go anywhere to wear the handbag. It was a Playboy bunny handbag. Come and it was on, denim. big up you. Fucking denim. Yeah, denim's all right, you know, why not? Yeah. Big up you. It's so random. All right. <laughs> How did you feel in yourself, I suppose, when you saw yourself in that Eureka moment? Shocking. I, it was, shocked. It's like finding out you're suddenly adopted or something. You're like, you found out this? your superpower kind of thing. Yeah. Is, it, is, it, is it that it's type like of thing? Something in, within, yeah, that you're just like, and who are you hiding? give you empowerment. Yeah. 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 I mean, I didn't, I didn't like get an ego. I didn't feel like I was this amazing person. I was just like, whoa, mm. I look a bit different there. You just felt I? more powerful. And yeah. then I take it you didn't tell your parents about this job. Mm. Do you know, I don't How remember. did you get away then for all this time? That's what I want to know. How did I get away with yeah. Well, so, well, this is what happened, right? At the age of 12, mm. I got my ears pierced. This is where it went wrong. So, <laughs> so you didn't tell them? No, no, no. They let me get my ears pierced. Did they used to beat you up or hit you? I was. Disciplined. Yeah. Not, yeah. not beat you up. Back in the day, you get ass whooping. Yeah. I, got, I got plenty of oh, ass yeah. whooping. The shoe, yeah. my mum's shoe was a boomerang out here. Uh, yeah, right. yeah. Okay, so yeah. you got, yeah, okay, yeah. cool. 
It was like pretty common, I think. Oh, it's our generation. Yeah, I mean, it was it normal wasn't like, yeah, if right, you didn't take right, licks. Okay, so, <laughs> you, okay so, so you took licks. So then why would you get your ears pierced then, knowing that you're going to get licks for it? No, and no. So I was it. allowed this. I was oh. allowed this, right? So bear in mind, like, my brother could do whatever he wanted. Yeah. Was a year older than me, but probably five years more immature than me. Yeah, so, as boys do. Yeah, he couldn't save himself, whereas I was like, I'll just achieve everything and be an A-star student, do as I'm told, like, try and succeed in everything I do. And still, it's not worth as much as the guy that's just throwing it all away. Kind yeah, of yeah, thing, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So it was like massive injustice. So loads of people had their ears pierced as like babies, yeah, as yeah, like yeah. six-year-old. Um, I got to the age of 12. I was the only person that didn't have their ears pierced. And I was like, look, I don't want to fit in, but I do want to have my ears pierced. Right. Um, I had like black hair. I had blue hair. I kind of like was experimenting with things. So you were allowed to do things like, because the picture yeah, you're painting is eventually. you as a prisoner. But you were allowed, like, oh, blue hair, I suppose. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah right. eventually. But right. it was, like, softly, softly. The and then it snowballed. Yeah. Right, right, right. It's a little snowball. <laughs> yeah, a little snowball. Okay, so so when you got your ears pierced, they were, they were cool with it? Yeah, oh. yeah. It took a long time of convincing. I wrote letters for about a year. And then I was allowed. Letters to who? My parents. Well, well, about, why didn't you just talk to them? Because they didn't want to hear it. So I thought, if I write it in a letter... Then Hustling they'll read the, it. Yeah, in the London, I made posters yeah. as well. Okay. Coloured them in and everything. Right. Yeah. Protest. Got you. Yeah. Got you.